ahead in this video we're going to look at how to make our projectile explode so when we hit something um, it will you know disappear and there'll be some flame or something um, so first we need to make you know a flame unity has some some basic flames you could find something online as well but if you do assets import package particles uh, just import them all you know there's smoke and flame and I don't know lightning and whatever it might take a moment to import it okay so after it's done importing there's over here standard assets particles and you can really just go through these um, there's fire I guess there's fire so this is what it would look like wherever it happens oh that's the winner I'm gonna use that one so really just pick any of these um, what you wanna do is click and drag to put it into the level and we're gonna wanna put this into our resources folder if you don't have one assets resources right click create folder resources go in there uh, capital R at least at some point that was necessary and you got your fireworks or whatever your fire or just left click and drag and let go here and now you can delete this because this is like an actual <clears throat> an instance of it so if this is a cookie cutter this is a cookie so we don't need the cookie we just want the cookie cutter here name it um, well you don't have to really name it anything just know what it's called mine is fireworks with a capital F so in scripts we're going to right click create C sharp script call it uh, exploding project projectile and we're going to open this up from other videos you might have seen uh, on GUI on trigger enter uh, there's update start these are all functions that unity makes happen when uh, when it's appropriate so we don't need update it's going to be on collision enter and it takes a collision information uh, argument there so this will happen when the thing that we attach exploding projectile to our projectile when the projectile collides with something and we don't actually care what it collides with when this happens we've got to do three things we've got to destroy our projectile itself we've got to make our sparkles and then you know five or ten seconds later destroy our sparkles so we're going to get our pre well yeah prefab our cookie cutter is going to be this isn't quite the best way to do this because every time there's an exploding projectile it's got a resources.load ideally you'd save this in game variables or something like that but hey this will be okay mine's called fireworks with a capital F yours could be something else and then we're going to get it whoops get a new game object I'm going to call mine fireworks it's going to be instantiate our prefab and we need to make fireworks the position is going to be my position the position of my exploding projectile that I just destroyed okay so we're gonna do we're gonna destroy ourselves after all of this because you know then position will be nothing that's no good so we're gonna do that and then that'll create our sparkles but we also want to destroy our fireworks that we made after say five seconds otherwise it'll just be a sparkly mess and that should be good let's see so we're gonna go into our resources find our projectile I need to add and this isn't the projectile here because this would just be a cookie 
you need to select the actual cookie cutter so all of them will have exploding projectile attached to them now maybe if I press play it'll work yeah 